Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Professor Says Layton. Because, apparently, London's in France. And apparently that was a French accent, actually. Um, you can hear that I'm using a new mic. I got the Dynex something. I don't know. Uh, it was $25 at Best Buy, and I, I'm, I like it so far. They also have the Blue Snowball, which is what I want to get, but... 25 is in my price range a lot better than 70 is, so I'll have to wait a little bit for that. Now, last time we were heading to wherever we were heading, and we took this way. We're going to Flatstone Street, apparently. Say, so, did you see that no, no good Nick skulking around here earlier? Yes, why did you ask? Just thought I'd give you a word of advice. His entire gang is bad news. They call themselves the family, and they monitor everything people get up to in these parts. Who are you talking about exactly? I'm sure you've seen them. They all dress the same with the long black coats and black hats. Oh, and don't even try to be a hero. Bravery, bravery will only get you into the worst kind of trouble. But why don't the police do anything about them? Police? Now there's a word I haven't heard in a while. I haven't seen police on these streets for years. Nowadays, it seems like the family makes the law. That doesn't sound good. How terrible. You're telling me, I- Oops, here comes one of those goons now. Try not to stare. Sir, would you mind if I didn't look at that paper you're holding? Well, I'm kind of busy behind it right now. But sure, knock yourself out. No, I can't be. Professor, look at the date on this paper! Hey, no need to act so, so shocked, it's just a newspaper. Anyway, I've got places to be. Can I have my paper back? Oh, yes, of course. Thanks. I didn't misread the date on that paper, did I? I don't think so, Luke. It was dated ten years in the future. So, maybe the reason why nothing looks familiar is because we're, we're in a London ten years from our own. Perhaps, though I think the matter deserves more investigation. Whoever wrote that last letter assured us that I'd find proof of our time travel at Green Hospital. Let's make our way over there without further delay. Alright, so, London warped. Um, it's not exactly solved yet because he still says it needs more investigation. Um, so guess that's about that. Um, nothing of interest in that shop. Hint coin. Hint coin. There's a banana. Some litter bug dropped a banana peel over here. How disgusting. Oh, what dreadfully uncouth behavior. Luke, do the gentlemanly thing and pick it up, would you? You got it, Professor. I went, while you're doing that, here's a puzzle to make the chore go by faster. Uh, okay. <laughs> sure, that makes sense. Make your way from the start to the end, but be wary of banana peels. Whenever you step on one, you'll slide without stopping until you hit a wall. So what, do I like... Oh, I see. So, does this puzzle pretty much just keep going until we decide to... Well, until we get it, really? Um... I have honestly no idea. Wow. Wow. Pretty sure I did that exact move before. Wow. Hold on, hold on. Wait. Oh, 
Alrighty, there we go. That wasn't so bad. Here's my answer. Alrighty. Yes, you did, Luke. Sweet, most people have seen banana peels using cartoons for that. I've never actually stepped on a banana peel, I have to say. Alright, that was actually a really good one. Alright. Um, okay. Well, let's go. I guess that's true, they need to investigate everything in order to, um, see stuff. This must be the big street that Max was talking about. Right, Flatstone Street. Excellent. If we continue north, the station should be on the right-hand side of the street. We're almost there. Let's keep moving, Professor. Hmm? Hey, is it just me? Or is that man on the corner shaking? We should probably leave him be now. Let's see what it is. What do you want? Please, please don't hurt me. What? what? What's that? The station? Oh, it's just that, just down the closer. Don't, don't come any closer. Just leave me alone. The fuck? That's normal? Hint coins. Okay. Well. Let's see what's over here. Oh, this is just right back where the hotel is. Alright, so we want to head up. Hey, look, there's that family goon we saw earlier. He certainly dressed similarly, but I do believe that that's a different fellow. Aha, the subway station. Say, Professor, isn't that the logo for the Underground Railroad? Railway? Indeed it is. It took longer than something. So, similarly dressed shady characters lurk on every street corner in London. What are they up to? They're up to sex. They're prostitutes. You don't want things to get messy, you better stop giving me the eye, kid. Uh, oh, sorry, sir. I didn't mean to stare. That was awfully nice of him. Hint coin. Um, okay, well, let's head on down. We need to buy tickets to, to ride the subway. Do you think you can handle that, Luke? Sure thing, Professor. And by that, it means we need to. Looks like I have to select the destination. What's the button for the Auckland Land Station? Uh, maybe it's the one that says Auckland Lane. Yeah, that sounds like it makes sense. Maybe that's just me, but... Um, no, I don't want to go anywhere else right now. Alright, let's head out of here. Well, that was easy. Professor, we just took a few- we're just a few steps away from the hospital. Wonderful, let's head over. That sounds like a plan. Hello there. Good day, madam. Would you mind helping us with something? Sure, I've got nothing better to do. This place is dead. Because <laughs> it's a hospital. <laughs> we're here to visit someone in your, in your care. Can you point us towards room 312? Room 312, huh? Let's see, uh... Ah, Dr. Andrew Schrader, sure. What? Uh, I'm sorry, but do you just say Andrew Schrader? Mind your volume, sir. You're in a hospital after all. So, are you two relatives of Dr. Schrader? No, actually a former student of his. And a little friend there? He's, well... Dr. Schrader's pupil of... Dr. Schrader's pupil's apprentice. Oh. Old 312 is quite the fan club, doesn't he? Anyway, you can see him if you like, but you're gonna need to fill out some paperwork first. What kind of paperwork? Oh, it's just hospital policy. Don't worry, though. It's only one question. And of course, it's a puzzle. Huh. Why is this the question that they need to ask everyone? Okay. There's nine different hospital rooms. I was taking visit all the rooms in one round. Alright, wait. Um. She can visit all the rooms in one round. 
She must go into a room that has at least one shared digit with the room she's currently in. So she has to... Uh, which room does she start with? Is the question. Oh, uh, well, let's just say... Um... Which is that? There's none with an eight. So that can't be... Um... If we work backwards, so, hang on, um, these can't be things, so that that's first, okay, that's it, that's second, third, fourth, fifth, but that's assuming, actually I think 33 has to be, here goes! What? No, I didn't mean to. No. Here goes. Let's see if this is right. I Probably not. About this one. Oh. Mm. I must have overlooked Study something. the numbers closely, but I did. View hints. I'm getting a hint, folks. Show. Ha. Huh. Well, two worth a shot. Eight. Now, I'm going to do a tally next to each for each. I'm going to so for 18. Not that. Oh, uh, there you go. Alright, so 18. 23. 38, 49, 65, I seem to be going in the most random order, 54, 63, and 71, okay. Wait, what did... What good did that do? This is true. Um... The nine digits used in the room numbers... Oh! What does S hint? Super hint. <gasps> that sounds awesome. Okay. Why did I not think of this? That one of these needs to be first and one of these needs to be last. Well, I'm an idiot. Okay. Let's assume that this is first. Then it would go here to here to here to here to here. Say to here to here to here to here. Okay. That order works. So it says one, two, three, four, five. Alright, let's try 63. Come on, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Yeah! Okay. That is very true, Layton. Okay. <laughs> I'm so... Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Whew! I would not be able to visit, pa visit patients in this hospital. So to the third floor, just take the stairs over there. I got a dead tree. That's awfully pleasant. Hmm, alright. Here, let's place the dead tree here. I completed the book! 